and back in third was Eritage for the Paul Nichols team uh, getting the cue, defying a penalty uh, in some style. Obviously a very useful son of Mount Nelson. We'll confirm that result to you in just a few moments, but we are just going to concentrate on our next race at Dundalk as we've got our Irish expert and Martin Dwyer here to talk about, and Tom Stanley to talk about. You up for Dundalk, yeah, right, Tom? Yeah. Great, great. So let's, um, let's, I'll come to you, Noel, first of all, because um, you've had to acquiesce to Tom and, and Martin so far on, on, the, on the preview. So first, for your first preview on Racing TV. Uh, of this mile, mile handicap at Dundalk, uh, a quick summary on what you fancy. I think, in essence, I think it's the favourites to lose, really, Aussie Valentine, um, and it's a lot of it is true elimination of the opposition. Obviously, Togoville came back to form last week and won pretty impressively, but mm. um, even at his peak, Togoville was never really a, a miler, per se. You know, his best performances were always over six. I think that he's running here off 83. Obviously, Slattery claims seven, but he has won over, off 82 over a mile previously in Dundalk but that day I just think he really dominated the weaker opposition so um, I think his normal running style is to go forward but you know going back to Ozzy Valentine he's he's uh, some really really solid one mile yeah. handicap form in his in his back back form as I said hassle not I just told you off air he ran in my own silks the last time he ran in a claimer um, so I'm going to look like a right good judge having let him go for <laughs> seven grand a couple of weeks ago or last week if he, uh, or two weeks ago if he happens to come out now and win a 16 grand to win a race tonight um, egg in my face but I don't think uh, I don't think he has anything in hand of 73 and I think he's probably a horse that's going to be best fresh now that said he is running in first time blinkers tonight so whether that brings around any improvement I don't know the only other one really then of, of, of interest is George and Bay but he's been running to, to that level for a long time mm. and um, he really was he didn't look like a horse that was a big fan of winning races to be honest and then he just started to get his head in front in claimers yeah. um, I just think really as I said um, Dara Davis um, 10 pound claimer who, who's ridden the horse before I think it's his to lose so, Aussie Valentine, uh, in summary, the selection here for Noel. Martin? I'd have to agree with, with all, all of that. <laughs> I think I could just go to the pub. <laughs> <laughs> no, definitely. Aussie, Aussie okay, Valentine. Noel's going to be the same when you do Chelmsford in exactly the same manner. <laughs> yeah, so we'll just do shifts. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, you agree, Aussie Valentine? Aussie Valentine comes in with the strongest form. Uh, good third last time to Game of Life of Joseph O'Brien's. Um, again, with the riders £10 off. Um, it looks like his race to, to, to win. I'd have to agree with Noel on Tuggerville. Although he's won over a mile, seems to me like he's more effective over six furlongs. And Hasselnott and Georgian Bay, regular runners round Dundalk. They'll probably run the races again, but I think the favourite will take all the beating. OK. Uh, Tom, keep your powder dry for later on. Uh, just to confirm the market for our upcoming handicap here at uh, Dundalk, Ozzy Valentine. Now the 11 to 8 favourite from 13 to 8, 9 to 2, Togoville, 5 to 1, Hassel Knot, 7's Georgian Bay, 8's Fashar, 9's Waiteki, and Zarian is the outsider. At 20's, Kev, it's all yours. Yes, thanks, lads. Ozzy Valentine, look, it is his race to lose. He was placed, I think, in actually four Lincolns. He's been a real good servant uh, to now retired trainer Paul Deegan as well. He was placed in a couple of Lincolns, Irish Lincolnshires for Paul Deegan and obviously has been placed subsequently in them for trainer Adam McGuinness, who's enjoying a fine season. Ten winners on the board already up here at Dundalk during the all-weather season. And, of course, doubly represented. George and Bays won twice up here. But he does need to step up from his last run and finishing fourth in the claimer here behind She is Diesel of Noel Meads, who was recording her third victory at the track, and she runs in our last race here this evening. But Ozzy Valentine running off a of mark at 92 years higher a couple of seasons ago. He's an eight year old now and bidding to win for the third time here at Dundalk. All his wins. Here at Dundalk, have been over a mile. He has won over a mile and a quarter on the grass also. And Dara Davis, the two Davis boys, both himself and Sean Davis, they are brothers and they're riding in this race. Dara Davis now based with Jim Bull... Uh, sorry, was with Jim Bulls, are now based with Adam McGuinness. I think it's one winner Dara Davis has ridden. I'm not 100% sure on that. And, of course, Sean Davis, he's back in a flying visit. He's now based with Richard Fahey. And definitely a guy to... Look out for next season. Niall Hannity, our very own Niall Hannity, is his agent. Three rides on the card tonight. He rides Hasselnott, 
one of three runners for Anthony McCann. Togaville, he became the winning most horse here last Friday night since the inception of Dundalk. And he recorded his 10th victory of his career here. He has won twice over a mile. But well, you're going back to 2014 and 2015. When both of those wins came over a mile. But he was good here the other night. And went up seven pounds for it. Watiki is the last to go in. Ozzy Valentine is her fight to four favourite. Let's get up to Jerry Hannon. For this. They're off. And breaking very smartly, the history maker Togoville, the grey with Ozzy Valentine going up on the inside, and Fashar is in between horses. They race the end of the first furlong. They're followed down the back straight by Hasselnot. A couple of lengths to Zerian with alongside Waitaki. Back marker is Georgian Bay. Heading on towards the six furlong point, almost at the end of two furlongs, and Going along matching strides, Fashar on the outside just heads Ozzy Valentine. They've gone on three in front of Togaville with Hasselnot in fourth place. Behind Hasselnot is Zirian and then Waitaki in Georgian Bay. Less than five furlongs to go as they head out of the back straight in this one mile Bruce Betting download the app handicap. And it's Fashar and Connor Hoban on the outside going on a length in front of Ozzy Valentine and Dada Davis. Taking closer order, racing right under their heels is Togoville and Andy Slattery, and then comes Hasselnut Zarian. It's followed then on the approach to the straight by Waitaki and Georgian Bay remains last of the seven. Off the home turn with less than three to go, and it's Fashar being followed by an improving Hasselnut in the centre. On the outside is Togoville. Then comes Ozzy Valentine with Waitaki. Georgian Bay is trying to stay on ahead of Zarian. Racing inside the two and it's Hasselnut and Sean Davis over on the far side. Stand side is Togoville and Andy Slattery chartering the same path as last week and it's on the near side Togaville the far side is Hasselnott as they run to the finish and Hasselnott is proving stronger close home and pushed out by Sean Davis will beat Togaville second Ozzy Valentine is third and then Waitaki Georgian Bay Well, it's a one-two for trainer Anthony McCann and Hasselnot has travelled really well into the race under Sean Davis taking the five off. He's only here in a flying visit. Three rides here this evening, as I said, based to Richard Fahey now. And a name we're going to see plenty of during the flat season when it gets going in England. But good and confident on Hasselnot. He was based with, firstly, Michael O'Callaghan on the Curra. Well, Sean Davis and most recently with Jar Lines. Pick him up here, turning into the straight. He's absolutely pulling double under Sean Davis. Togaville has run a cracking race. Probably, to be fair to him as well, worth taking the chance over a mile. Hadn't won over a mile since 2015. And probably just ran out of petrol close home. But he's lost little in defeat, the winning most horse here at Dundalk. But Hasselnot, first run for Anthony McCann, runs out. An impressive winner, Shawnee Davis. Hands and heels drive inside the last 150 yards. Ozzy Valentine, no excuse for him, had every chance. You know at this stage the two Davis brothers upsides but Sean Davis and the eventual winner he was travelling way better, better than his younger brother Dara Davis Fashar long time leader he's dropped away tamely in the end but a good performance by Hasselnock continues Anthony McCann's good winter campaign here giving him a 1-2 in her second race of the evening well done to connections of Hasselnock Anthony McCann, uh, Sean Davis, and owner James McCauley. Uh, what an excellent purchase this horse has been. <laughs> Noel, I, I bet you're delighted for connections. Yeah, over the moon. I know the guys pretty well. They don't <laughs> still. So, yeah, the, I'm, I'd be first on the phone to text them and say, well done. They thought they were delighted to claim them last week. I was happy that they claimed them as well. But, Hasn't picked um, up the phone yet. <laughs> 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 the but, we won't tell the viewers what you uh, were saying as he was right? <laughs> forging clear. <laughs> well, well, let's just say the first time blinkers have worked the article. Absolutely, yeah. without question. A right decision to six and blinkers on the six-year-old Hasselnot, who wins at five to one for connections. Second, Togaville, following up his good run and win last week with a good effort today, uh, nine to two.
<coughs> and Martin, we'll take a look back at uh, the replay once again. Aussie Valentine had every chance down on the rail, but it was noticeable just how well the winner did travel into the race. Yeah, obviously we've said um, Hasselnot, the blinkers have uh, certainly improved and he travelled so well. Uh, it wasn't ideal for Aussie Valentine with the horse on his outside taking him on. I think he was just going a little bit quicker than they wanted to go really in the early stages and it just set it up for a closer a little bit. But Hasselnot, you see here, it opens up like the Red Sea and he just breezes through on the bridle. Togaville, uh, no, he's backed up that win last week with a good effort tonight. Yeah, I think he's one you'd probably keep on side.